Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and we decided to see Dave Oxer out in wonderful Arizona, and why not have a car that's a survivor? Dave, what did you bring today? Which, by the way, before you begin, is the birthday gift, and we'll get to that in a minute. Go ahead. The birthday gift that never was. <laughs> the birthday gift that never was. What, um, what, I brought what is it? 1978 Corvette Silver Anniversary. The 1978 Corvette Silver Anniversary. And we'll show you why we call it the birthday car or the birthday that never was. First of all, let's start you off in the 78 Corvette. Now, this is the 25th year of the Corvette. They have a very special emblem. Yes, there are the pace car editions, which one out of every four of them was a pace car, which was black and silver. Silver anniversary. Silver anniversary. There's that 25 year badge. And this one has the nice striping. But this one's got a nice story. So come on alongside me. How long have you had this one? 14 years, Lou. 14 years. And it all started with what? It all started with uh, my mom had a 77 Corvette. So when I, they asked me what I wanted for my first car, I said I want a anniversary, silver anniversary Corvette. And, uh, and then something happened with your mom. Yeah, I didn't get it, actually. I got a uh, billboard for my 17th birthday. You got a big poster. I got a poster from General Motors, and they said, Happy Birthday. And that's what I got for my, uh, for my birthday present. And it's not just any poster. How much was that poster? There was a fee for getting it. The poster was $11.50, and it was actually a billboard of the Silver Anniversary Corvette that's 22 feet long by 11 feet tall. So we're going to show you that and the trunk and treats because you'll see this side right here will look just like, well, the poster. So here we are with Dave and the trunk and treats and the reason why I'm showing this car and driver is this was the first piece that your mom had a 77 Corvette. So tell me what happened here. So my mom um, bought, a, my dad bought my mom a Corvette in 77. I saw the car and loved it. And when they asked me what I wanted for my first car, I said I want a 78 Silver Anniversary because they had just announced it and the new window and all that was and cool. Is, and this is what you saw. That's what I saw it in that magazine. And then my mom was getting Corvette news. So lo and behold, later that year, the new Corvette Silver Anniversary was on Corvette news. And um, both of those are mine. Those are original copies. That's from my mom, and that's mine. We lived in uh, New York. And then this was a dealer promo piece. Right, dealer promo I picked up. Of your car. Mm -hmm. And then you had this mirror that you saw. Yep, back in the 70s, everybody had a cool mirror on their wall. I did. <laughs> and then these were actual promotion pieces from Chevrolet. Mm -hmm. That's a postcard. But let me show you the back. See what's new today in your Chevrolet. And that ties into these. How did you find See What's New Today cassette from that time period? I don't even know, but this is a, this is a radio station, so the radio station would put that in and play, play a commercial. And if they weren't as advanced with a Corvette, it, the cassette player, you'll notice in September 28th, there's the reel that played the commercial for the, for the Corvette on the radio. So those are the two spots that they had. The full line is a 60-second spot and a 30-second spot. And then that was in September. Well, in October, there's the two spots, a 60-second and a 30-second spot. See what's new. And there is, again, the, the, vid, the tape That's that they crazy. played on the radio station. That's amazing. Here's a silver anniversary tag. The perpetual motion machine. <laughs> and this is unique because your interior is oyster. And you have oyster key covers. Yep, it was one of the options I guess you could buy at the time. Now tell me about this. Was this where you got it or? No, I found I found okay. that. Just had 78 in Chevrolet. And that's right. It yep, that's right. The plate. And this is the original brochure. Yep. Now we've got it opened up a little bit, so stay right there for just mm -hmm. a second. So and this actually hung, kinda... this hung on my wall when I was growing up as a teenager. This you picture? See, yeah, you can see the little push pin yeah, spots the push pins where it in sat the on my wall. Was it because of the girl? Probably. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that next to my Farrah Fawcett picture. <laughs> there you go. All right. Yeah, the very 70s for sure. Right. All right. So now that we've got that, and then it opens up to this. And I'll take a shot back, and then I'll get a little closer. Generation 1, Generation 2, 
and here we go here and you can see that and I'll just take my time to show you because there's some nice history as you go across and I'm trying to do it slow enough where you can actually pause the computer read that go to the next Right, and let's show them, let's flip it all the way over. Perfect, right like that's good. So this is actually the front, the as front. you can see. This would be, we'll call it the middle. Notice mm -hmm. you got the 53 and the 78. And here's your standard equipment. Talking about the silver anniversary. And the big selling feature is how much more luggage you could put in it because of that new rear window. <laughs> the selling feature. <laughs> you know, it would have been a good idea is to have that window if they would have had it to open. In 82 they did. They only, only did it one year in the collector edition. But it would be really nice if somebody made that option. I'm going to go slow enough so you can read all that. And then on top of that, the real birthday gift became, well, this. A full-size billboard of see what's new today in your Chevrolet car not included with the billboard. So there's your car. And I want to take a look at this, but tell me the story on how the billboard became available. Well, so my parents asked me what I wanted for my first car and I said I wanted a silver anniversary so you saw the magazine back there mm -hmm. well in that magazine for eleven dollars and fifty cents you could actually buy this billboard so today. let me so, so let me pause for a second so dad buys mom a car mm -hmm. <laughs> dad gets you the billboard I like that motivation that's like <laughs> son I you know I, it took me a while to find this woman well now you're gonna have take a little while to get your silver anniversary Corvette. So you had this poster way before oh, yeah. the, the car. Yeah. So there's actually what that poster looks like on a billboard and here's where we're sharing it for 1150 you can purchase this so your dad or mom creatively filled that mm -hmm. in and sent 1150 in to exactly. get you this. Right. Not as good as a 77 Corvette, but I like the motivation. Son, get it yourself. Yeah. They actually told me the Corvette was too fast, so I spec'd out. I said, how about a Trans Am? And they didn't know what it was at the time, so I spec'd out a Trans Am, which was faster than the Corvette in 78. <laughs> and my dad really liked that car over the Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's a car guy for sure. Let's open up the garage door. Let's show the headlights pop open. That's just amazing. All right, let's uh, pop open those headlights because it's a little darker in here. They're vacuum related, so we'll pick it up. Nice, we'll close those. We'll shut that down. We'll let you take that in, and we'll go right back to the review. And we're back. So as we're back, you guessed it, I'm going to show you the back. Well, you can see there's no trunk, so we did the trunk and treats on the table. But I really have to say, the thing that made the 78 special, and I thought was really Chevrolet's right move, was this piece of glass right here. Because it gave it body shaping very cool piece. Does it make it any hotter in this car with that glass or not really? Well, I'm sure it does in the summer. Yeah. There's your badge over the unleaded fuel only piece. You can see. And our taillights. Now the 
pace car were to have a spoiler there, this one doesn't have that. But you mentioned something interesting, and if I catch it right, you can see this little wave right in the body. Tell us about that. And I want, you can see it all the way through. See it? Yeah, see that, right there? That little wave. Yeah, those are the bonding strips. So when they built the car in St. Louis, they matched the top to the side, and they put a piece of fiberglass underneath it, and that's how they built these cars, was with the bonding strips. So if you don't see that, you know it's not the right, the real deal. It's been maybe tagged or hit or something like that. Very possible. And it's been redone. And um, let's, while we have it in the sun, let's open the door. Tell me the color of this interior. The color is oyster. And I actually put my outfit on, I'll show that a little later, to do the best I could to match your interior. But check out the wheel. You don't usually see a wheel that's oyster. And you can tell we're later into the 70s too, because you didn't have that annoying <clears throat> that we had in the 70s. I'm gonna take that out just so you can hear that wonderful little chime. And these are original miles. Right. See the little Corvette emblem there. And we'll show all that already in the trunk and treats, and then just so that, in case you didn't know it was a Corvette, You'll have it right there too, right under, the, right there. And then I always thought the instrumentation was good with the gauges, oil, clock running. And we're going to talk about this in the ride, but you don't drive this one much. So we'll go from there. This one's an automat automatic, or in the Corvette it's automagic, <laughs> automagic along with that. Clearly we have, and see the doors are nice. Clearly when you're in the car too, I'll just show the back. You got this little sunscreen thing and this. But you have the wonderful T-tops. There's the back. It's actually, there's a lot more room over the 77 with that seat, with that window in the yeah, back. Yeah, okay, so your T-tops. Quite a bit more room. What's under there, the battery? There's uh, the battery is over there, and the jack is over here, and that's just a locking storage compartment. Got it, okay. Got it. Let's, uh, let's pop the hood, shall we? And when we start it, we'll have to show the, uh, the headlights popping up, too. Because that's always a treat. Obviously, all original, original paint, original everything, as you can see. Is that little VIN tag, is it still underneath the... Uh... There's a data tag, is right here, oh. on the A-pillar. That's what I'm looking for, let me see that. Because they used to put them on the seat. The, yeah. yeah. Let me see if I can get that. If the camera can get that. There we go. Nice. Keep your GM vehicle all GM. A little packed under here. Yeah, it is. Here's your big vacuum cans. Are those those got to be vacuum operated, right? That's for the headlights, right. And then what do you have here? Is this your air conditioner? Yes. That's nice. Compact. It's nice to see all original like that. There's a little light there, as you can see. Let's, uh, let's fire it up, shall we? Yeah. The windshield wipers that come down here and kind of hide away. Step on the brakes for me for a second, Dave. Thank you.
think we I think we need to take this one for a ride. Oh, <laughs> let's go. So here's Dave and I on an excellent adventure back in uh, 78. Okay. And here you are in the car that you always wanted, the birthday gift from the poster. That's right. And it, That's all, right. it all came to uh, fruition. How do you feel driving it? Because you don't drive it that much. How many miles do you I think don't. you've put on it? Oh, maybe 400 miles in the last 14 years, you, maybe. You've put That's 400 right. miles in 14 years. So this is special. Even Wow. A little win there. This is special even when you take it out. It is. It, it actually, um, I bought it for my wife. And she's like, it's so pretty. I just, I don't want to drive it. And we, it sits under our billboard. And there's a reason why we own the car. It's for the billboard. For the billboard. It makes yeah. the makes the billboard makes the pictures in the house look great. Just so people see, I, I put this outfit on so I kind of match your, you look great. your interior. I can't, I can't even tell it's you. <laughs> I can hear you, but I can't. Yeah, see I'm you. camouflage. I gotta show this steering wheel when we're driving because it's so clean that it just looks like uh, what's the color on this? Oyster. Oyster. Let me show people the view. I hope as people ride with us here that they're just having a little bit better day looking at that view. I like you can see like a little hood scoop yeah. and then you've got the fenders. The fenders come up. So a little Batmobile like. Yeah. I like that. Center center bulge along with the fender bulge. It's so smooth. This is probably when radials were really just coming out, getting past the bias plies. Plus, you had probably the tuned suspension. It does. It's got that thin, big wide tires on it. So it must have tracked, especially in 78, this must have been really good for cornering. What a great cruise. And I'll keep the camera this way because you'll enjoy as we turn the corner and get towards where it says road closed. And you do, you said you wanted me to jump that or no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no Dukes of Hazard today, okay. but yeah, we'll we'll not jump it with the with the Corvette at least not this time. There you go. But I'll just let people take in kind of that view as we we get a little curve here too. So although the road's closed, well, Dave, always a lot of fun <laughs> as usual when we get together. So much fun. Thanks for taking out the car. Even you don't take out that often. Right. When you do take it out, what's the reaction? Everybody loves it. Everybody, Everybody loves it. It's especially people in their fifties that grew up with these cars, or friends had car, the Corvette, the parents did. It's just, it's a throwback car, very nostalgia. Beautiful. I, I always enjoyed, like I said, the the rear windshield, uh, the rear glass of this. I thought was just right. Yep, that's Dave, the first year. Dave, thanks so much for bringing your car out, and thanks for sharing your great story with us. My pleasure. Cool.